Do I want a wing liner? No. But am I gonna do a wing liner? Yes. Caught me as a lifetime baby. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full get ready with me hair, makeup, perfume, fragrance, all of it. The whole nine yards. Just a super feminine, soft and pretty flirty look. I really like how this came out. I think everything looks great. My makeup, my hair, my dress, even though we have a slight malfunction, you'll see towards the end. But if you want to see how to get this look, first of all, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. You guys like this video for me and keep watching. All right, guys, so today I'm going to be starting off with my hair and I'm going to be wearing my natural hair today. I'm so happy because, you know, me and wigs have just not been on the same page lately. So I have a cute look in mind. So hopefully it comes out to wipe my mirror off. Perfect. All right. So anyways, hopefully my look comes out as planned. But I did recut my hair. You guys see, I need to even color all them gray hairs. Oh my gosh. So, I like to start off with this um, Moroccan oil. Now you guys have seen this one plenty of times. I got the little one because I don't have a lot of hair. And who wants to spend $40 on oil? Not I. <laughs> so, I always start with this. I actually put this in my hair every day. I feel like this has also helped too with my dry scalp, dry hair situation. And this smells so good. I just lather that all up and by the way I did just wash my hair and condition it in the shower so it's like 80% wet but because my hair is so short it dries super fast and then next I'm gonna go in with my wrapping foam I'm using the Nairobi by the way everything that I'm using for my hair was purchased from the beauty supply store like the regular old beauty supply store not Sally's y'all know which one I'm talking about but um, I'm using Nairobi because this is the only wrapping lotion or foam, whatever you want to call it, that keeps my hair slick. So I use a lot of it and I like it because it doesn't have like a sticky residue. It doesn't have a film to it. It lays my hair down the way I need it to. I could literally put this whole bottle on my hair and I won't have any product, um, product buildup. So if you feel like your hair does not lay down, get you some Nairobi. My hair hands is all foamed up. So I like to use a rat tail comb. I got this one recently because it's super small, so I think it's gonna help me style it when I try to do my little soft waves in the front. So what I'm gonna do first is do a part. And you guys know, I just like my parts to be really deep. I feel like they just frame my face a lot better. Give us a little part. I used to hate parts in my short hair, but I realized it just looks a lot better. And I'm really liking this comb. It literally is like a little bit wider on one end and really skinny on the other side. I got it from the beauty supply store. So now I'm just kind of shaping my hair where I want it to go. Um, and, but I'm not styling it yet. And I just add foam as I go. Like I use a lot. And I constantly add foam because I just feel like I can never have too much of this. And I just do my back straight because can't nobody see back there anyways and I don't have the time to be trying to style that so up until like all right here I just comb it down and flat all right and I like oh I have a pimple Ugh. I like the sides of my my um, like my sideburns to be longer but when I cut my hair I didn't realize that she cut it all off until I left I honestly didn't notice but um yeah, she did, but whatever, it's just hair grows back. So we're just gonna do this. You see how fast? I literally got a haircut two weeks ago and this was not like this. My hair would be growing, honey. I'm just gonna shape it. I like to just do soft waves. I don't like hard finger waves. It just doesn't look good on me. So I just like a nice soft look. Wow, this is crazy. I did not even have this many 
this much sideburns last week. And I've been doing my hair with like no heat because um, the heat just doesn't, just does nothing for me. And then I like kind of sort of mold this, do a soft mold. Let me tell you, this is so hit or miss. It's never exactly the same. I don't have a certain technique. I just, you know, pray about it and get the styling. And this does take a while for you to like figure out how you want your hair shaped and molded. So just take your time. Don't get frustrated. Sometimes I can literally do it in like 15 minutes. Other days it takes me 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna be quiet and try to get this right. So that's pretty much how, I wish I can style this more. This is just too bulky, like I'm telling you guys, I need my hair shorter. So I'm probably gonna get it cut short again next week, gonna have some time. But this is gonna be it for now. And then I like to use this edge control. I really, really, really like this edge control. This is the one with Sweetie. And um, I just use a little bit of it on the back just to keep that down. This is like the only thing this seems to keep the back hairs down because I hate when I turn to the side and they're just like sticking up. Like, baby, you need to be straight. So I just add a little bit of that. It's literally like glue for this, uh, the back, you see? And then I can like shape it a little bit if I want. But Lastly, I take this Auntie Jackie Shine Boss. It's a refreshing sheen mist. It's basically just gonna give my hair some shine because a lot, a lot of times my hair looks really dry. Then I just take these um, wrapping papers. It doesn't matter if you use the white ones or the black ones. And then I need to fix this because this is like doing its own thing. This is, see, this is why I need my hair to be shorter so it can just lay down. It's so much easier when your hair is like a centimeter long, I promise you. And you see how it's like bulky up here? It just looks a lot better when your hair is short. So, I'm gonna take that and press it against the back of my neck so that my neck hairs can be flat. I'm gonna tie that. Oh gosh, how am I gonna do my makeup? Jesus. And I'm just gonna cut off these extras just so it doesn't annoy you guys. But typically, I would honestly keep them. Do another one going this way. And I'll do one more in the front because I really want my front hair to be flat, flat. See, this is what I'm talking about. So this is pretty much gonna wrap my hair up until the end. We're gonna see how it looks. It's like a gamble. It might look good and it might look bad. So we're just gonna pray for the best at the end of this tutorial. And I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands because I had so much product on my hands and zoom in and we're gonna do this face. All right, so we're zoomed in to my face, okay? So please excuse the paper, focus on the face, all right? So I'm gonna be using my Morphe brow pencil in the shade Java. And I'm gonna do my brows actually how I used to do them, just regular and sculpted. I'm not even trying to do a fluffy moment because 
I just don't feel like it. And I did it yesterday and it actually looked really good. So, so what I'm gonna do, you guys know I just like to draw a line at the bottom of my brows, draw a line at the top of my brows and brush through it and voila, we have a brow. And even though Java is a darker color, it doesn't come off dark because I'm not filling in my brow too much. I'm literally just outlining my brow. So it's still gonna be somewhat fluffy, not fluffy, but like light, but it's not gonna be like overly dark. And I'm just gonna use my um, shape tape in the shade Deep to clean up my brows. I will leave everything in the description box for real this time. I literally refuse to post this video if I don't have the information in the description box. So make sure you guys check that if you have any questions. I think I was a little bit too zoomed in while my camera kept going dark. So we just had to back that up a little bit, honey. And I actually really like this shape tape for my brows because I don't really like this for my face anymore. It's like too something, I don't know. Y'all, I'm not even gonna hold you. I just did my whole eye, which is like the same thing I always do pretty much, and my camera wasn't recording. So we're gonna go over this. I'm not wiping my eye off today, y'all are not getting that from me today. No ma'am, no ma'am, okay? But um, I used the Dose of Color palettes. I used Sassy Sienna's palette first. So yeah, I use the Sassy Sienna's. I use the shade Brassy first as a transition. Then I use Stay Sassy to deepen it up a little bit. And then I went into the Baked Browns palette and I use Outdoorsy all over my lid. And then I use Deserted like more in the inner corner. I promise you guys, this is like the same look that I always did. And I mentioned that I wanted to do another matte soft glam look. So I would try to look on my channel and see if there's a, a video similar to this eye look, but that's what I did. I'm so, I'm so sorry y'all, but I am not redoing my eyes. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I'm not. Sorry you guys, don't hate me. I'm so sorry, but I just can't. I just can't do it. I don't have it in me. Um, and I'm gonna be using this Huda Beauty, Huda, blah, 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 Huda Beauty primer. This is the moisturizing one for my face today. I've been liking this like a lot, a little bit too much. And for today's foundation, I'm gonna be using my Pat McGrath and this is a shade Medium Deep 24. I'm using this because, yeah, I literally have not been in love with the foundation. I think I keep saying this, but I just, every time I go over to pick a foundation, I'm like, Ugh, what am I gonna choose today? Like nothing looks bad. I just am not in love with anything right now. So I'm gonna just use this. I feel like it's a little light, but I always say that and you're like, it's perfect. But I do like to go a little bit darker always. And I'm using this Japanese brush. It says 962. I got this in um, TJ Maxx like a few months ago, weeks ago. So. I've actually really been liking brushes again. I just feel like they blend nicely. Duh, it's a brush. And I'm just gonna go over it with my Juno and Co sponge. Just to blend it some more so it's not sitting on top of your skin. That's the only thing, like I really like brushes, but I feel like sometimes they just sit on top of your skin. You need that like extra insurance, something to like really smooth it out and push it in. So that's why I use both. Or you can just go on with the sponge. Choice is yours. And also you guys, make sure that you're always using a clean foundation brush. I promise you, if your foundation brush is dirty, your foundation is not gonna blend out nicely at all. It's gonna be super cakey and streaky. So just take like five minutes to clean. Oh, did you see that? Paper strip fell off. So just take like five minutes 
to wipe off I mean to wash your brush before or after you do your makeup like and it's okay if it's a little wet because when it's wet it actually kind of blends the makeup a little better in my opinion not drenched but like a little wet so I'm gonna be going in with my Dosa Colors um, concealer in deep 26 because this is one of the concealers concealers that I have that has more orange in it and listen I forgot to nail my upper lip so we need to cover this little shadow up and get rid of these bags under my eyes so um, as you can see this one is a little bit more orange but that's what I need I needs it and I really do like the coverage and finish of this conceal concealer it is a little bit more on the matte side but I like see I don't mind my concealers being matte it's the foundation that if it's too matte I don't like that. I had so much confidence in this, this makeup look and I just feel like at this point, I need to just throw it away. <laughs> I just need to give it up because now I look like a Oompa Loompa child, but I gotta keep going. <laughs> and I'm gonna use my Kevin Aquan concealer. I use the shade SX12. And now we're highlighting and remember a little bit of this goes such a long way. And if you feel like you need more, add more, but don't, don't OD on this because you're going to instantly regret it. Your face is going to feel heavy, cakey, and we don't like that. And with this concealer, you have to set it immediately because it is so creamy and so thick. It will definitely settle into your fine lines and crease. So today I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier powder in the shade Honey. You know, she's real yellow and buttery. Love that. And I'm going to set under my eyes. I literally press it under both real quick. And then just start to press it in. Pressing it in first is kind of locked. Why does it keep getting dark? This is literally so annoying. My my thing keeps getting dark today. My lighting and everything is the same. Like, what's up? Anyway, um, yeah, just press it underneath. Really good. I'm not gonna bake. I'm just pressing and layering that powder. My face is coming together, okay? And I'm gonna be using my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Deep. And I'm using a BH Cosmetics brush. This came in the Marble Set Collection. You guys ask me every time I use it. It came in a set, so make sure you guys check that out. And do you guys know another new powder that's out? Because I have not tried another powder in so long. And I got the Makeup Forever one recently, well, recently back in a few months ago. But it's just like, time for a new one. I've been buying new everything but powder. Like, I always forget about powder. But anyways, I just press that in too. I don't really like swirl because I feel like that messes up the foundation. So I just like to sit and press that in. So now it's time to bronze, and I got the Charlotte Tilbury um, bron Airbrush Bronzer in the shade 4 Deep. This is how it looks. It is pretty deep. It looks good. I'm, I cheated. I used this the other day. Well, I can't really say cheated, but whatever. I used this the other day, and honestly, I know y'all heard it was a dupe for the Morphe. 
and it is. It's literally just like my Morphe. Like it has the same like pan size, same undertone. It's not too red, but it's not too muted. So if you want to save yourself like $40, because this was $55. And I just feel like, even though it is a nice bronzer, I love the formula. I love how it's blending out. That's a bit much for for a bronzer. Like, god dang. So if you want to save yourself some coin, get you the Morphe one and call it a Zay. Because I think they have the same amount of bronzers. I think there's like this is the darkest one, so yeah, there's four, and Morphe has like four or five, so definitely check that out. But I'm gonna keep it anyway, because why not? I do really like it though, but y'all know nothing beats my Fenty. And I'm thinking maybe I could have gotten away with three, because this is like pretty dark, like this is very dark for me. So I'm just gonna keep blending that. And I do really like the shade of this, so I'm gonna use this on my nose. And I'm using this Japanese brush in this number 726, has their name on it. And I'm just gonna contour my nose. She's dark. But we're gonna blend, okay? So we're just gonna make our nose disappear. Okay. You know what I look like right now? Remember, oh my gosh, my nose is so skinny. Do you remember that uh, thing? I think it was from RuPaul's Drag Race. And he was like, you look fucking orange. <laughs> That's what I look like right now. Oh my gosh, I need to get it together. And even though I don't bake, I do like to snatch the sides of my nose. Because I'm psychotic. And you go down the bridge of my nose, I gotta clean that up. And I'm gonna go under here. Just a little bit. I'm gonna be using Mo Honey. I mean, I go back and forth. This is like the only highlighter that I ever grab. <laughs> and I'm gonna put that on the bridge of my nose. I mean on the tip of my nose and then down the bridge of my nose but like halfway. Kind of like an expl ex explanation, exclamation mark. It's going to kind of make your nose look more snooty and turned up. Like you know. And I don't put highlight on my face because my face is too round for that. Too round. Mm -mm. I'm just going to take my Fenty blush in Rose Latte and just place that like a lot because I want to look really blushed and flushed all right there and this doesn't have any shimmer or anything in it but because it's like a balm it gives me like a nice sheen like you see that like skin like finish it's giving me love that no no I'm saying this is a bit and I'm just gonna go over my face one more time, just to like, um, on this side really, just to kind of tone this down so it doesn't look so crazy. Like the thing is, it never looks crazy in person. That's why I'm always looking at myself in the monitor. But like in, on the camera, it's like picking up everything in the weirdest way. I don't like that. Now I'm going to use this Hourglass Soft Focus Setting Spray. It's supposed to blur your face out, supposedly. So we'll see. But I love the mint. Like, this just feels so luxe, you guys. Like, I love it. But it doesn't have a smell or anything. So I don't know if that works. But I like it. <laughs> I do. Alright, so I'm going to go back into the shade Deserted. And I'm just gonna reapply that just to make it pop some more because I've sprayed my eyes so it kind of brought it down a notch. And this is the brush that came in this palette by the way. And I'm just reopening those eyes. Same look, different day. Baby. 
Do I want a wing liner? No. But am I gonna do a wing liner? Yes. No, I'm not. Mm. So I'm gonna use the NYX liner and I'm gonna try to keep it small. <sighs> I don't have time for the blush today. So that is as good as my liner is going to get and I'm just going to take some mascara. I've literally been using this mascara since like December. It's kind of gross. But I don't really use mascara like that. I just do like a little one coat and call it a day but I definitely am going to buy a new mascara So, Like mascara is like the last thing that I I'm gonna be using these lashes for the 50th time. It's kind of gross, but it's from Glow Up Academy. This is Pop Pretty on purpose. I just feel like this is the lash that I need in my life today. Cause I need to pop pretty on purpose. So make sure you guys check her out. Uh, this is um, Kiki Adams line. If you guys are on YouTube, I know you've seen her, her channel. She does like all those fun glittery looks that I can't do. She is that girl, honey. And I'm using this, um, what brand is this? Absolute New York, it's the brush on black glue. I like brush on glue now. It just is a lot easier for me. These lashes is kind of big today. Ooh. Ooh. dry I'm really thinking I want to do a matte lip today so I'm gonna use my um, max chestnut lip liner Do I want to do a matte lip? Yes, I do. So I'm going to go with Knock on Wood by Dosa Colors. This is literally my favorite, well, one of my favorite nude matte lips. I'm saying nude as if I wear any other colors. Okay, anyways. <laughs> and when layering mattes, I always tell you guys, make sure that your first layer has dried before you add another one if you just keep adding on top of the wet um product it's gonna be a mess so i'm gonna let that finish drying and i'm just gonna pinch this together now so i don't look like they're just sitting on my eyes i probably look so crazy I'm just gonna push that up so they look a little lifted, you know, it's just cute. And I'm gonna add another layer of this. I really want like a lot of like warm tan tones today, like that's the vibe that I'm honestly going for. Let me just take this off right here right now, see what it's looking like. Not terrible. It ain't even flat. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a haircut next week. 
But that's as good as it's gonna get, you know? That's how I'm feeling. Anyways. It's cute though. I mean, this little squiggly could go though, for real. For real. But yeah, this is how I do my hair with no heat. I think last time I showed you guys my hair, I was like putting heat to it, but I just don't like that. I just like a really sleek, nice zoo. So I'm gonna get my outfit together and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back with my outfit and I'm so glad that it looks good. I'm so glad that it looks good. So I'm gonna put on some accessories. Okay, I really wish I had some um, regular gold studs, but is that too much? I feel like this gives it like, really? I feel like this gives it a very classy look, you know? I wish I had regular studs though. But these are going to have to do. What do you guys think? I got these earrings from Akira. Better known as Shop Akira online. I'm going to put this on. Yep, I like this better because it's more like relaxed. It's not so like all my neck. All my neck. That's how that looks. Just something really dainty. The earrings are already doing a lot. So we're going to leave it like that. So of course I have to do a fragrance for you guys because I'm not in a rush today. Actually not doing anything today. We're getting cute. For fragrance today, I'm going to use Killian's Princess. Princess by Killian. Princess by Killian. Okay. This is new. Okay. And I just think it goes with my look. This smells like a marshmallow and I look like a marshmallow <laughs> in the best way, hopefully. But it just smells like a toasted marshmallow. I really like it. I'm just gonna keep spraying myself so I can't anymore, honey. And I got this from, and I got this from Sephora as well. All right, guys. So this is my outfit for today. Something really like I feel super feminine and like girly and just cute, but like I'm not doing too much. Like this is me. I always say this, but this is me, y'all. So this dress is from J Lux label. Is that what it's called? J Lux or just J Lux label or anyway, it fits right. But the only thing I try to do this without um, flashing you guys. But basically, if you are over a C or D, this is not gonna work for you. I'm just taking pictures today, so it's gonna look fine for the pictures. But like, other than that, like, it has like this little flap, right? Like this little. It's weird, but the dress is cute, but small boob girls only and double d so yeah so i'm just gonna finesse this for the picture because i think this would be really cute like i'm gonna be working my ankles y'all like, like this oh i look okay please excuse my boobs you guys all right guys so that pretty much completes this get ready with me i hope you guys enjoyed it i will of course list everything below hopefully maybe i will <laughs> We're going to manifest. I will. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.